Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable the new start menu all app section that Microsoft is testing on the latest build for the beta channel. Well, in this video, as always, I'm going to show you how to enable that and more info about this new feature that Microsoft is working on for the start menu. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as always, we're going to have to set our Vive tool on our computer. Just go and get Vive tool from the article below and then just get the latest version that's it. You can open it up using File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder. For example, I have a folder here in Local Disk C called Hidden Features. I'm just going to extract it here again. I'm going to have to replace the files because I already did that before. And this is how easily you set up Vive tool on your computer. Now all you need to do is to open up the search box, type in here CMD and then click on Run as Administrator. On User Account Control, of course, click on Yes. Here, you're going to have to type in CD and then the location where you extracted Vive tool. You can just just copy the location from the address bar of the file explorer and as I've said CD and then the location press enter and we can now run the necessary command and this is the command that you need to run is going to have three different IDs the first two IDs are the IDs for the new start menu all app section and then the last one is an ID that is required for this to work if you don't have it enabled yet and after you run it you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration a huge shout out to phantom mission 3 for providing the IDs and more information about this feature you can follow him on his Twitter account if you want from the pinned comment below also, this command will be in the article below, so you can just copy and paste it from there if you want to do that. After this, you can close out the CMD and then restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now, after the restart, when you open up the start menu and then you go into the all apps section, we're going to notice that we have here a new button near all apps, which is now selected to grid. But we have two other options. We have alphabetical, which will sort out our applications alphabetically, of course, and the grid, which is basically the default view. And we also have the category view, which is something new. As you can see, it is not yet finished by Microsoft. It's currently in the works. So if you want to play around with this feature, of course, pay attention that it could be buggy. Maybe the start menu will crash a few times because this feature is in a very early stage. And of course, as you can see here, we have certain app categories that we're going to have. So we have developer tools, entertainment, music, navigation, and maps, news and weather, and also more. And also Phantom Mission 3 found a .json file, which shows some of the default apps and also their category that they belong in. So I think that is pretty interesting. And also future Snow on Twitter provided a screenshot that basically shows how the final design will look and it should be pretty close to this one. It's gonna look something pretty similar to iOS but I think it's looking pretty good. I think this new addition is a pretty good one because we will have all the apps categorized inside the short menu. I'm not really sure right now if the apps will be automatically categorized so for example if we install a new app it will be automatically categorized here but I think that it will be. Hopefully Microsoft will implement a good categorizing AI maybe and uh, they won't include all the new apps inside the other section or something like that but as you can see if we click on a certain category right now it doesn't do anything because it's currently on the works maybe in the new better channel build from this week if microsoft releases one we're going to have a new preview of this and we're going to be able to see this new feature better so this is how you basically enable the new start menu feature that is a pretty interesting one i'm happy that microsoft is working more and more on the start menu so of course don't forget to check out the article below for vive tool and also the command used in this video and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also so subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.